Honkai Star Rail has been out for almost a year now. Most have completed all the end game, like clearing Memory of Chaos 12, and the game is generally easy. So in my quest to collect the coolest account builds possible, I decided to raise the difficulty of the game and try to beat Honkai Star Rail with one main rule. No tanks, nor healers. In order to build my own version of a pure damage account. My dream team. However, since I love seeing my viewers suffer, I decided to make my own version of this challenge, one that is more masochistic with even more rules. Rules like forcing me to do a 10 pull on the standard banner upon death of my team, and also a massive rule that forces me to do the hardest content in the game like farming 1000 eagle pieces in order to unlock limited banners like Akron's. All of which can potentially force me to brick my account and make building the dream team impossible. Will I win or will the standard banner consume all my jades? So if you enjoy seeing my viewers suffer with me, join us on this journey and hit that sub button. Now that is done, welcome to Honkai Star Rail Glass Cannon. Please hit Don Hang. <laughs> That's fine. As long as Don Hang lives, we're fine. This is a team wipe, okay? Oh, please. Okay, we should be fine. Oh. <laughs> what a way to start the game. Put a little bit of a heart attack, huh? Come pick us up from soccer practice, mom. Get me out of here. <laughs> And after avoiding a near embarrassing disaster, I knew this challenge wasn't going to be easy. And I was right, because just a bit later, there's an unexpected fight that may break every pull that I have. But before that, we picked up our free sparkle, then we opened up our mail to collect our serval, the four-star weapon seriousness of breakfast, and most importantly, one of the best things to have ever happened in this game, our free 20 pulls, which gives us two extra lives. And also Dr. Ratio, of course. Also, if I recall, the free Dr. Ratio that we get is going away after 2.1 ends. So if you're thinking about making an alt account, make sure to pick them up before it's too late. However, the first major boss encounter proved to be extremely dangerous and intense. No March 7 for sustain. Will this even be possible? Nah, I'm just, I'm just fooling you. This was basically a tutorial fight. However, what you don't know is that while I was beating up the first boss with my overpowered team, I was already scheming my ultimate plan to unlock our first banner, Akron, by beating World 5. But there are a ton of barriers between us and World 5, and I was impatiently thinking about the obstacles that were far away like the Kokolia boss fight, Japard World 3, and Sferog World 4, but little did I know, the biggest barrier that I will face is already right in front of me, and one that I did not expect at all. This is where my first big mistake happens, and many of you guys might not expect it either. So this is the tutorial for Simulated Universe, a roguelike game mode for the game where you can pick certain buffs to enhance your team as you progress. As you guys can see, these are trial characters that the game forces you to use. However, I was able to remove March from the lineup, therefore we ended up with only Dan Hang and Stell. Then after beating up all the small fries to grab our enhancements, we finally face the final enemy, a level 7 Void Ranger Elite. However, our characters are trial characters, so they are weaker and not only that, if you rewind earlier, you'll see that we are only allowed to select tank blessings, which are buffs that generally work best for, you guessed it, tanks that can shield like March 7th, whom we have removed from the team. Because as you guys know, there is a rule called stand your ground that gets applied once I enter combat, and this rule does not allow me to flee. So therefore, after taking minor precautions, here's how it went. Should be fine here. Let's deny the extra action, and we should be good. Boink. This looks kind of hard. Oh god, this trial is actually hard. Please die. Oh my god. Oh no, this is going to be a repeat, huh? No, not still. Oh, we are so screwed. Oh, we're going to probably have to do a 10 pull already. Fuck. Live. Oh, what the fuck is this? Even though they are trial characters, the rule Team Death is activated, meaning that I am forced to do a 10 pull on the standard banner. So there goes one of our lives. But here are the results for the first pulls on this account. All right, our first pulls. Please be something useful. I can't believe we died to a trial. It's a tutorial in Simulator Universe. It's it's tough. Okay, four star, please be good. We didn't get a five star. We only got a four star. Eyes of Prey. All light cones? Oh my god. So you're probably wondering, Zeto, is that fight even possible without using March? Aren't you inclined to use her since the devs made it that way? To that, there's only one way to find out. So I went through it again, and with Don Hang's technique activated for that extra damage, we were ready, and it came down to the wire. Is this a kill? 
No, it's not. Uh oh. It's gonna hurt. Oh, is Don Hang gonna die? Hope not. Oh no! Yeah, he's dead. What the? Um, excuse me? Yeah, no way we got, we got this, right? Yeah, that's why it's impossible. Oh. We're so close. Please live, please live. Stealth, please live, please live. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, die. Just die already. Oh my god. Are made to be broken. Die. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> oh my. What is this? Dude, I hate this. I hate this mode. Oh my god. One HP remaining and a dream. To be honest, I never thought a fight this early on would be so intense. Every fight that I decide to take in could bring me closer to breaking the account. And you're probably wondering, Zeto, dying a couple of times early on isn't so bad. You have so many standard pulls to protect your jades from. Well, not really. Because I will need every single one of it for this here. The Fantilia boss fight. Since this fight is extremely RNG due to the fact that Jing Yuan dying means that this is an instant wipe. I just pray that I don't lose my sanity when we get there because compared to this, that obstacle is going to be 20 times harder due to the RNG. But once again, I am eating my cake that I haven't baked yet. Because before I can even get there, I must get through Bellabog and beat World 5 and that is a whole nother beast itself. And let's just say I might have gotten complacent during my Bellabog saga. Let's find out what happened. So after cleaning up the remaining elites in Herda Space Station and completing the exploration for that juicy juicy loot, we continued the story into Bellabog. Also, I always wondered about this. I was wondering, who do you guys think would win? 1 billion pom-poms or every playable character in the game? Me, personally, I think 1 billion pom-poms. And even though I've been through the Bellabog Chronicles at least 4 times by now, this was still every bit as exciting to me as training agility in RuneScape. So I'm not going to waste your time. Here is a nutshell rundown of the most important things we did until the part that matters comes up. We got to TL level 12 and unlocked dailies. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty much it. And now for the part that matters. You idiots, we'll just steal off the miners. <laughs> Still a classic. Okay, fine, fine, fine. There is one more insane thing that happened. We received one of the most character in the game, Natasha, who is now our premier bench warmer. Oh, and I totally forgot, consumables. This will be huge later on. And with that out of the way, we prepare for our final battle versus Farog. And at the time, I knew that this fight could prove to be the most difficult one yet. Until it wasn't. But this equilibrium trial though, now this is truly going to be an opponent of a lifetime. For someone else. Because our team was still way too OP. We were well over geared. And to be honest, even the elites on each map were fairly light work. So let's just fast forward to the actual real difficult fight. Kokolia. No, not that one. Yes, that one. Now this could prove to be difficult. I, I, I lied, guys. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. We can save her. We can save Kokolia. I don't even know what to say to you right now. Overall, yeah, I, I just feel like Bellabog, very easy, basically a tutorial phase. Uh, the elites were a lot harder in some of the fights, but overall, it, it wasn't that hard. Also, we do forget to claim our trailblazing will. I totally forgot about that. There we go. Another temple and another temple with 800 stellar jades. Boy, we are looking comfy. We have 54 pulls. So basically, I could wipe five times. I might have made it look a little too easy, and it was. And because of that, I got overconfident and made a mistake that would change everything. I was overzealous by how easy everything was, so I let my guard down. And when we were able to unlock Echo of War, I was still very confident in our team since we were five levels ahead of the Doomsday boss. So in order to get better upgrade materials for the bigger traces, I decided to take on the Doomsday boss. I was smart enough to use food at least, but there was a big mistake that I made. Did you guys see it? Yeah, I did not recharge my team's energy to full. This mistake turned a supposedly easy fight into one that I did not expect. And this was how the battle unfolded. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Never mind. What the hell? We do so much damage. Wait, this guy does no damage. <laughs> hey, easy clap. Wait, actually, wait, hold up. It's kind of scary. It does have two lives. Oh, I'm doing too much damage. Okay, I'm taking a little way too much damage. Okay, the hand is broken. We can build up skill points now. And energy. Cool. 
Now it has one more life. We gotta break the middle hand. The middle hand is the hardest to break. For sure. Oh no. How much damage is it gonna do? Ah! Uh, okay. This is actually spooky. Okay. This is kind of getting scary now. Oh, I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> getting a little nervous here. No follow-up attack? Oh, that's not good. Oh no. I... Physical MC needs to heal here. I'm pretty sure we could heal if we... Yep, we heal a little bit. That's not that much, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. This is not happening right now. This is not happening right now. No, please. No. No interesting conflict. No, that's so bad. This is actually so bad. I'm going to need Asta here. Oh no. Oh no, he's charging up. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, no, we should be fine. We can break it here. We can break it here. Oh yeah, we break it. We break it. Nice, nice. Wait, it still goes? No, please. No, no, that's not fair. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh no. I, I got too ahead of myself. Okay, okay. Wait, this guy does no damage. <laughs> Hey, easy clap. Wow, I'm actually, I'm actually stunned. I got too complacent. That's all I have to say. But I honestly do not regret the death at all because it led to this. I, that means I have to do a 10 pull right now. No, that, that's the second 10 pull. Oh no, okay. Hopefully we do get someone that's gonna help us out here because this is looking dire. Himiko, 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 Himiko. All right. Fine, show me what my four star is. Please don't let it be a light cone. <laughs> I want a character. Please don't let it be a light cone. Please. Ting Yun? <gasps> what if we get Ting Yun? That's gonna be such a big game changer, no? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's unironic. That's not bad. Oh, oh my. That's insane. That changes everything. Oh my goodness. That's, oh, yes, 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 yes. That is so good for our account. And this mob is weak to ice. So we could definitely raise Pella and substitute, you know, maybe Dr. Ratio and use Pella instead. And we get an Eidolon for Asta, getting us closer to E4. Oh, did you guys see that? We also got our very first meshing cogs. You'll love to see it. And with our newly obtained Pella, I made a choice to bench Dr. Ratio for this fight and sub in Pella. So I quickly geared her up and even beefed up my other character's gear as well. With the change, upgrades, and actually building up energy for our team, we were able to effortlessly take down the Doomsday boss with plenty of room to breathe. You can't fool me twice. Unless you're Sparkle, of course, then you can fool with me anytime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When using the hunt path and with our newly upgraded team, we were able to easily dominate your part in World 3, since we outleveled them by quite a bit. And everything was going according to Kikaku until World 4. Sferog. As you guys can see, the enemy's levels are the same or they are a bit higher than us, with Sferog at level 52. I opted to use the hunt path once again since it was a strong path for DPS, and considering that we mainly have DPS, it worked pretty well for us until it didn't. And this is in part because we did not get enough blessings, aka we were pretty unlucky. And the warning proved to be pretty accurate because even before we fought Sparrow, I found myself stuck in horseshit once again. And it's not looking pretty. We might... Oh, did we bite more than we can chew? Why does this guy look like he's real tanky? This kind of spooks me. I don't think we'll die here. I'm 100% sure we should be fine. Dude, it's not even moving. The HP bar isn't even moving. No, I barely have any blessings at all, actually. I mean, that could also be an issue too, right? We survive for one more turn, at least. He's only half HP. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Oh no. Please have mercy. Oh my gosh, he's gonna target three of us now. Okay, Asa has ult up. So we should ult right now into an ultimate, into a skill. That's the rotation. We, we could block the major big attack, which just breaks. But the issue here is that he's gonna blast attack us and then we're gonna take a lot of damage. Oh, please live. No, <laughs> no, Servo's gonna die. And then skill here. And then we skill again and we should be good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so stressful. What the? Luckily for us, the boss was weak to both Pella and Asta, so they were able to lock it down before it could destroy us. But not only that, the mistake became a really good wake-up call. 
I needed to be mindful of the amount of blessings I had and keep resetting until we have a decent amount of hunt blessings so that we don't fail the run. With that in mind, as well as leveling up our ability tree as much as possible, we were able to easily overpower Sferog during the fight using the hunt path. Let's kill with servo, path resonance, and this should be it. There we go. Woo! And with Sparrow out of the way, there is only one boss left that stands between us and pulling on the Akron banner, Kafka World 5. Kafka is 10 levels above us, and the recommended team level is 55. At first sight, it doesn't look too hopeful for us, but Unlocking World 5 also gave us one of the best early upgrades in the game, Gold Tier Relics. Even though these relics aren't used by many characters, just the stats alone is worth going for and upgrading. And so that's exactly what I did. With the 3x bonus from the anniversary, I farmed quite a few, and here is a bit of progress from the relic farm. Okay, anything good? Fire damage again? Oh no. Energy regen? Oh, that's kind of huge. And get our triple reward, please? Oh, we're getting so many good attack ones. Holy, that's insane. Oh, defense and quantum percent. Give me something good. Ah, defense. I see. Another attack percent robe. Okay, well, wrong set. Wind, wind. Yes, we did it. That's not bad at all. Attack and break effect. I'll take that. HP and maybe another way. Ice damage. Okay, not bad. Not bad. That's good for March. DPS March. <laughs> We're hoping we hit speed and crit rate. That's all I really want. HP percent isn't that bad either. We just want to ignore attack, please. All right, first level. Come on. <laughs> One thing I ask you to not do, you do. <laughs> HP, okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's good for survival. I'll take that. That's copium. You might think that's copium, but no, not for this account. It is not copium. And with our newly obtained relics, we gear up the rest of our team and made sure that they have pretty good survival. Now, Kafka World 5 is no joke and will be our biggest problem since one, she deals a ton of party-wide AoE damage and we cannot use a healer to help us out. This includes also picking the abundance path. Two, she can cast a debuff that can dominate multiple characters. And since we can't use the path, we don't have a dispel. So it's paramount that we have a solution to address these two issues. And so I cooked. For the first issue, we can solve it by using the Nihility Path. There is a blessing that will heal us every time a dot goes off. Also, when I made a guide for Swarm Disaster, I remembered how OP this path was, and so it should be OP for the regular version too. Right? And for number two, there is a preservation blessing called Construct Rotation, which has a 20% chance to dispel one debuff, 30% when you upgrade it, whenever a character receives a shield. While we can't shield anyone since we don't have any preservation characters, there's still a few blessings that will provide us a shield, like Sanctuary, which will grant us a shield after we take our turn. With the new theory crafted fusion between Nihility and Preservation to solve our two problems, this was what it came down to. Ah, oh, there it is. One of our first requirements. There we go. First elite deleted. Rotation. There's the last piece to the Exodia. We have completed it. Oh, this is huge. Call of the Wilderness. Oh my goodness. I forgot about this totally. We lower their attack by basically 30%. Oh, this one's going to be tough though. This is going to be tough for sure. Damn, it affect res like everything. What the hell? That's not good. Dude, this guy is taking zero damage. Why is it so tanky? What is that pathetic heal and damage? It tickles him. Oh yeah, we're screwed. We are, yep, it's going to blow us up right now. Big bomb here. Oh no. Ah! Dot burns, yep. Extra heal. Nice. No, we're still dead. <laughs> Gotta get bomb. Okay, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> and so I cooked. Stay off the damn weed. Okay, no, I'm I'm not cooking anymore. We burned down the kitchen. Literally, it burned us down. Okay, I'm not even gonna try that path. And so now we're gonna have to cook ten poles. Maybe, perhaps Ting Yun. Maybe, perhaps Idolon for Asta. I'll even take a Sushong. Best girl. Anybody but Arlen. <laughs> Anybody but Arlen and his light code. How about that, huh, you little asshole? Oh my. I tried to be a little innovative, but I guess it's time. 
I just have to use my trump card. One that I knew would definitely stand the test of time. Good old remembrance. But you're probably wondering, Zeto, you don't have a character that can freeze. But the key to remembrance isn't only solely relying on ice characters alone, but also characters that can deal toughness damage. Because of this here, a blessing called Innocence that will freeze and apply the dissociation buff when we break their toughness as well as this one here, Reticence, which will allow anyone to freeze with their attacks. With these two blessings obtained, I had no issues with the elites. And so this was my strategy for Kafka, to freeze her with the path resonance and to deny her the extra action. Then while she is frozen, we can deal toughness damage to her. Then once she unfreezes, we will have enough toughness break with our team. So someone like Dr. Ratio can freeze her again. And finally, by the time she unfreezes again, hopefully our path ability will have regenerated already. And so this beautiful combo was working. Then it came down to the final phase here. Will we make it? Nice. Oh, we don't have a freeze up. Oh, no. Why don't I have my freeze? That's fine. That's fine. No. No, I didn't have my freeze up. It's okay. We'll save the path resonance to deny her extra action. Skill. Victim damage. Nice. Okay, we'll save up for her toughness here. Normal attack. No. Oh, no. This is not good, actually. Okay, freeze. Please freeze. Mm, she does a lot of damage. Okay, that's good. Oh no, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Normal. Oh, please stop, Dr. Ratio, please stop. Ultimate here. Skill with Don Hang. He's still frozen. Normal attack into a skill. Okay, we're good. Oh no, we don't have a freeze up. I hope she doesn't kill us. Oh my god, why does she do so much damage? I need a little more. There we go, there we go, let's go. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. And there we have it. Yes, it's over. <laughs> oh, Remembrance, you beautiful, beautiful path. You are too OP. And with the first big milestone defeated and our first banner unlocked, it is time to test our luck. We don't have enough pulls to hit the pity. We only have one chance here. 107 pulls. We are not guaranteed Akron. I don't know if we're going to be able to farm enough if we lose the 50 50. So, God help me bring her home. First 10 pull, first 10 pull. Not bad, not bad. Our first four star on the Akron banner is. Gallagher. <laughs> I can't even use him. <laughs> all right, all right. Our next 10 pull. This is the second 10 pull. No. What do we get? Come on, let's see it. No. Yo, stop. I can't use you, you crimson looking ass bastard. I can't use you, okay? All right, please, another 10 pull. Okay, come on, let's see what it is. <laughs> Three Gallagher's, oh my, oh. Uh, at least we get a Don Hang though, at least. At least, I'll take that. Spare us, okay? Hold you over, spare us. Please spare us. I need these pulls for Robin. I need to renew my definition, please. <laughs> no! All right, that's fine. <laughs> fourth Gallagher in a row. You're a useless character and nobody loves you. No, I can't use him. What the? F this is not the definition I wanted, okay? This is not the definition I like to see. Please. No way we're getting a sixth Gallagher, right? Oh, 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 early. Yes. Please win this. Please win this. No way. No way. Yes, 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 yes. You know what they say? The first five star that you get, that's your lover. No, not you. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is such a good account now. This is so... Okay, we get another Gallagher, but... At the end of the day, we have so many jades left over for Robin. Oh, I'm so happy. But now the real challenge approaches us. Will the RNG of Pentilia break our glass? Or will we survive to get one more character on the account? Subscribe and find out. Also, I am streaming right after. So if you're interested in a little preview, I will be streaming most weekends right after each episode. Also, let me know down below if you enjoy this content. I'm kind of experimenting here. So if this is something you guys like to watch, I'll continue for sure. And thank you, Kekvin, for the big inspiration. If you guys need something to watch, I highly recommend watching Nihility only. I'll have it in the description down below. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the stream. Bye bye. Take care. See ya. Bye now. Stay safe.